Welcome back, everybody. This is Sam Solbright with your energy report for the week, quantum report here on the Love and Science channel. Thank you for joining me. I don't even really know what to say. <laughs> um, there is absolutely everything going on right now. It's It's been quite intense. Um, as I've been experiencing myself in like a different way or uh, an intensely different way than I've had in the past. Um, and I've been reading, people have been sharing um, some of the things that they've been experiencing too. And so it kind of, it's been going on pretty much all weekend for a lot of us. And, um, some of us may have been feeling it, um, you know, different locate or different, different times. Um, but we have to continuously remember that November and December are always massive, massive passageways, no matter what. And so the other day, I actually wrote a little, just a little mini post on just how many portal days are actually in November. Um, and I actually haven't even gone into December yet, but December is also pretty big. Um, <clears throat> there's about 10 portal days in November. And that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, we're talking... Um, Repeating number days, so like 11, 1 would be 1, 1, 1, which would be a portal day. And then obviously we have 11, 11. Um, and then we have the full moons, the new moon, and of course the total lunar eclipse, <clears throat> plus a whole bunch of other ones. Um, I'll, put, I'll put a link to my little, um, to the little blog article that I wrote on that with all the dates for you in the description. There's so much, there is so much coming through and just feel into how every, this every day is just going to widen <clears throat> the, the gates. Remember last uh, last week I talked about 11 and 11 being like the gates are opening. Well, the gates will continuously open. Yes, we will feel it a little bit more and a little more intensely this month and the next month right before the linear year closes. But technically speaking, this will only continue every month <clears throat> from now on. And it's been happening since about you know 2020. It's going to get bigger and wider and a bit more intense. Um, but this is only because the light frequencies go straight into unconscious program. So it will go straight into fears, lack, deep, heavy duty emotions, beliefs, programs that are still held within the physical body. So like earlier today, somebody had mentioned that they were going through quite a bit of anxiety, actually two people I had mentioned um, in my telegram group. And um, one of the things to keep in, you know, keep opening up to <clears throat> with anything that with any phase that brings a lot of anxiety, whatever the case may be. This is actually an enormous amount of light being triggered and activated inside of you that is activating an enormous amount of fears that haven't really been cleared and dissolved at some level. And so you will go through a massive light activation when you're in you know, the, the anxiety kicks in. One of the th things to keep in, keep in mind is to continuously support the bond, the nervous system, the, the live body, yes, the nervous system with this. Um, ashwagandha, shizandra, uh, all of these different things. Those are kind of my, my two, the two main energy system, nervous support systems that I share. But there's obviously 
whole bunch of other ones um, as well. But open yourself up to taking some of these things to support the nervous system because the nervous system will go on overdrive. And it's not primarily the best thing because it's just, it's like it's driving on, it's like driving a car uh, on overdrive without fuel or without enough fuel or without the oil change or all of these different things. You want to continuously support your light body so that your light body can continuously relax deeper and deeper and deeper. If anything, um, this is a humongous key to always remember and keep in mind. Relax, relax, relaxing through the process. If your body is not relaxed fully, you're going to, you're in resistance. You're in protection. You've closed off, making it harder for the light body to do what it's actually doing. And so just, just open up to that. This is why we bring the plans. We bring the elements. We bring all of these different things into our environment so that, we, so that our bodies feel supported enough to continuously relax. This is not a just one, one time thing. This is an all day, every day, and every moment checking, checking to see what's going on inside. How am I feeling right now? What's going on? What can I do to shift my own energy? What can I do to bring myself into a space, a location, all of these different things to support my life body so that I can relax, so that I can breathe, so that I can open up, so that I can allow this process. And so everything will come up to the surface. And again, I mentioned this earlier um, in a little, my group on Telegram. There, there, this is the point. That is the purpose. Everything that is not like needs to come up to the surface. And it is <clears throat> in a lot of different ways for many of us. Don't get caught up in the others. Don't compare yourself to others. Don't compare your experiences with others because everyone will always go through, uh, will go through it differently. They will perceive, they will take uh, the energy, the frequencies differently based on their own light body and their light quotient. So technically every single person is because every person has a unique light body, then there will be unique experiences and people will go through the, this intensity in their own way and at different times throughout their process. The best thing to continuously do is focus on you, focus on your light body, focus on what's happening with you, focus on your journey, focus on your process so that you don't lose focus, so that you don't get distracted, so that you don't get into the head. When we're thinking about other people and comparing, you're, you're technically disconnected from this moment. You've technically disconnected from your emotions and your light body. And you're not fully present and you're not supporting your light body. So being fully in your body now, anchoring in the body, feel into anchoring in your body will actually support you more, be much more powerful than going down into the ground. Because some, at some level, we kind of bypass the body when we do that. So go inside the body, anchor inside your body now so that you can continuously be present in the body, not in the ground, in the body. Um, there's a lot of things that we don't want to feel inside the body. 
there's a lot of things that we are scared to to go to feel inside the body this is why sometimes it acts as a, a, mecha, a protection mechanism we we connect with nature we connect with gaia but now we go inside to do that we go inside of our bodies to connect at a deeper and deeper level so this <clears throat> excuse me this takes it up a whole new level guys this is like upgrading we're, we're up leveling now we're playing a little bit differently now because of everything that's been going on because the light frequencies keep amping up uh in a way that we've never really felt before in a lot of ways and so we have to we have to evolve we have to change everything that we at some level used to do and i and i'm, I'm speaking from experience by the way a lot of things that I started doing that I used to do in the beginning that I used to do um, pre-ascension and it's completely different it's evolved it's upgraded um, technically speaking nothing stays the same and so just be open to that be open to that to the very normal natural evolution that absolutely everything goes through you will not do the same things the same way all the time and technically you kind of not supposed to there's there's things are always changing and things are always evolving and so when i started to let go and just move continue to move on and continue to upgrade um everything started to shift things started to open up even more for me things started to um things things started to, I said change, shift um, in a whole new way that I wouldn't have experienced if I would have kept myself attached to the same practices and to the same things, the same modalities, all of these different things. Um, just know that it's a really normal part of this process. In fact, I've been, there's been instances where, where people will come and say, oh, you know, I've been doing this for, I've been doing this, but it doesn't have the same effect anymore. It doesn't have, I'm not feeling the same way that I used to when I used to do it back, in, you know, however long ago. That's a very really normal thing to go through. This is why we evolve. This is why our practices evolve. This is how we evolve and our light body evolves. Um, everything evolves and everything starts to shift and change as we change, as we evolve. So open up to anchoring, open up to going inside your body, open up to feeling deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper than you've ever felt before. All of these different things start to bring in the light body support, the nervous system, the immune system, the uh, muscle system, all of these different, every system, technically speaking, will need an extra boost and an extra support um, system. So it's going to be emotional, mental, but it's also going to be physical where you're actually going to have to digest things, supplements and stuff like that. Um, and so just, just open up to that because everything will serve a much higher purpose. Everything will support you at a much bigger level. This new earth is about a new support system. This will always be about a new support system because the 3D systems never truly supported us in the first place. It felt like we did. It felt like they did at some level. But then as we continue to wake up and see more and more and more of the bigger picture, we start to recognize that they never supported us in the first place. Um, this is partially why the system's collapsing too because we're opening up to a new support system. We are creating a whole new support system for ourselves. We are allowing a, the new earth support system to come through um, in so many different ways. Our light bodies are now needing to be supported more and more and more and more and more and more. And so we will do absolutely anything and everything that our life body guides us to, to support it. Because it is finally damn time to 
really be supported, feel supported, receive the support, allow the support, gift ourselves the support. It all starts with us, by the way. The more we start to focus on our soul journey, focus on our ascension path, focus on our light body, the more supported we start to feel, the more support we start to gift ourselves because we're no longer willing to compromise at a soul level what our life body needs. And so we will go, we will go um, and, and, and take that quantum jump, take the leap of faith, take those quote unquote risks in order to continuously do what is needed to do so that our life bodies continuously feel supported. This will, again, this will bring a new support system that replaces the old. Again, this is your system. This has to be done internally, personally, within you. This is not about focusing on when is 3D going to change? When is 3D system going to do blah, blah, all of these different things? No, we do it from inside. We now go deep inside of ourselves to dissolve deeper and deeper and deeper the 3D system. And then that allows the new systems to come forth from within ourselves. Um, the new earth system is created by each person within their personal reality. Okay, so 3D is virtual reality sort of speak and and it will be a personal reality until you go deep inside of yourself and continuously dissolve it you will be guided all along the way to the things that you have to continuously feel release remove realign shift out give away all of these different let go of <clears throat> to continuously make way for the new, make, create the space necessary for your light to come, continuously come down into your body. The more light you anchor within your physical light body, the more you're going to start to feel the new support systems come through. And this is like a whole other topic and course within itself that I will I'm actually just kick out started writing a couple of topics <clears throat> um, earlier that that'll probably you know bring bring into the table to to expand into um, soon but continuously see and feel what your light body needs to feel supported what you need in order to feel emotionally supported, mentally supported, physically supported, energetically supported in every way possible. And if there is a lack of support in any area of your reality, then just open up, open up and bring yourself to that realization. Be completely open and honest with yourself that that is the case so that you can start to open up the doors of opportunities in order for you to shift that, in order for that to change, in order for that to be realigned, for more support to come through in that reality or, you know, upgrade the reality or shift out of that reality so that you can move into a whole new reality where you're much more supported at a soul level. <clears throat> um, the passageway that we will continuously go through this day, today, this, this, this linear week, <clears throat> excuse me, this linear month and the rest of the, the, the linear year is going to take us deeper and deeper and deeper because we need to expand wider and wider and wider. So there will be a lot of things all along the way that will bring, um, that will bring every, it's technically speaking, everything that still needs to be cleared, 
still needs to be released mentally and emotionally will come up to the surface. This is why the support system is going to be really, really huge, guys, because you want to be in a in a location in in a surrounding in an environment that supports you in going deep within yourself to be able to feel all of these things. Wherever this is, outside, backyard, bedroom, bathroom, doesn't matter. Open yourself up to where, to a location where this, this, is, this, this can support you or, or in a space that can fully support you. For me, when I'm with my parents, um, it, sometimes it's, it's literally the, the, uh, the bathtub, literally the bathroom where I can just kind of be on my own, be by myself and just cry it all out. It's been like that for, you know, for, for when I go back and, and I visit uh, because I'm visiting and there's, you know, I don't have my own space per se. And so you do with what you have when I'm visiting with them and that's all I have, then I am so super grateful that at least I have that. And I lock myself in the bathroom when I need to and just feel it all out. Um, it doesn't matter, even if it's that small in the space. Continue, or, and, and sometimes I also have to go outside and go to the park and, and do all of these different things. Get, open yourself up to everything, where, no matter where you are, you already have what you need that supports you. And so just opening up to that instead of not seeing or getting in the emotion of, I don't have this space, so I don't, I can't have that. You do, again, even if it's just a bath, bath tub, even if it's just a bathroom right now. And as you continuously see that you do have the support, <clears throat> you're going to appreciate it a lot more and you're going to open yourself up so that it grows, so that it's a little bit bigger, so that you start to honor your light body in a way that shifts you so that you do have a bigger space, so that you do have more support, so that you do have the opportunity to go to uh, more spaces, more places that continuously support you. So again, continue to open up because this is quite a big, massive passageway. <clears throat> um, that technically has only begun. Um, this is why it, it's going to be really important to really start to focus, really zero in on this, guys. This is it. There isn't going to be a lot of room for distractions. There isn't going to be a lot of room for <clears throat> allowing things to interfere because that will only prolong the process and it will only keep you from supporting your life body as it needs to. This is where continuously seeing and bringing yourself, oops, bringing yourself into a space where you can start to feel into all of these things so that you, your body no longer anchors you into reality that is not supportive. Your body has to continuously dissolve. <clears throat> and it actually is trying right now to dissolve a lot of things inside of you that are still keeping you attached and bound to realities, people, relationships, things, material objects that keep you in a reality that distracts you. There's a lot of things all along the way that I had to continuously remove, continuously see, oh yeah, I see this. This is not supporting me anymore. The biggest thing, you know, going on almost, almost about to hit three years uh, was, was my job. Uh, this will be a really normal part for every single one of us. Now, when I first got started, it was just me shifting into another position, shifting into a new, another department that was much more supportive at the time. This also may be 
this may be where you are right now. Opening yourself up to <clears throat> this specific position right now does is not fully supportive. I need to be, you know, in another in another location, in another place, whatever the case may be. I I went through that too. Um, as I continuously opened up more and more and more and more and more, the guidance was super clear. All right, it's time. You have to go all in, full on. Like you have to become your full time priority. You have to become your full time, <laughs> your full time job. Um, no more distractions. No more continuously keeping this because of financial security, whatever the case may be, reasons, I had to completely let a lot of things go so that I can bring myself into a reality that continues, continuously supports, supports, and it, and be, and was more, much more so aligned. And so just open up to that, continuously open up to this, guys, continuously open up to these, this is just a really normal part of this process. When we talk about everything evolves and shifts, that is because literally everything, absolutely everything shifts and evolves. That is the point. That's the, that is just a normal part of the process. And not just that, but a really normal part of life because everything, because everything is energy, everything is meant to shift and change to continuously support you and because you, we're all shifting and changing at an enormously incredibly rapid rate that everything will shift around us to support us to support our soul our light body our ascension path our purposes our galactic missions our service world our everything and so just continuously open up to that Continuously open up to everything that you are ready for, ready to experience, ready to dive into, um, ready to evolve, upgrade, embody. And you're not alone. We're all going through a massive passageway in, in whatever way we're each experiencing it, whether or not you can tell that other people are going through, it <clears throat> doesn't matter. Technically speaking, you don't know everything that's going on in every single person around you. It's a lot going on that they may not say, they may not express, you may not be able to notice, but inside of them, oh boy, there is a lot. I can probably tell you and guarantee that <clears throat> at some level. Um, so just continue to open up, continue to allow everything in your reality to show you where you're still compromising, where you're still attached, where you're still um, fearing, where you're still in, playing in the lack of games, where are you still judging, where are you still um, suppressing, all of these different things so that you can move, so that you can free yourself from all of that, so that your body can free itself from all of that. And so much, much more, but probably good, good space to wrap it up. Um, there will be more opportunities coming forth. Um, I will continuously probably do a, a course. Um, I'll, I'll do a course probably this weekend and some, you know, every probably very, um, either each week or every other week for, to, to support you to continuously um bring more more awareness and knowledge to to guide you all throughout this process so if that is something that you you feel guided to or you are aligned to you're definitely welcome to to check that out um i'll put my my website below as always and with that keep opening guys keep feeling keep allowing keep honoring yourself in every way and every step of this process and I will see you guys next time. Take care.